everyone today i'm going to make some really lovely bird seed feeders and i'm going to put it in my garden so that the birds when they come down they can have some food and because it's so sunny i think they're going to be really happy to come and have a visit in the garden so if you would like to make a bird seed feeder you just need the following things okay so number one you need a toilet roll holder Number two, you need some string and you can use really fun. Oh, there's my doggy. Excuse me, Dylan. Off you go. Oops. You need some really lovely string and you can use ribbon and you can use anything colourful that you think would look pretty in your garden. You're going to need some peanut butter and if you can't have peanuts, you can have nuts almond butter or lard you can use lard you just need something sticky that the seeds are going to stick to so if you want to use a different kind of nut butter you can or you can use lard but i'm going to use peanut butter today and then you need some bird seed so we've got really lovely just normal bird seed from the pet shop and it will last a really long time so i can keep making some once this one's run out so the first thing i'm going to do is I've put some of my bird seed in a bowl like this because I'm going to roll my toilet roll holder in there once I'm ready. So I've got that to one side and then you can use your finger but I'm going to use a knife just to be safe and if you are using a knife you obviously need to do that with mummy and daddy or a grown-up. So we've got a knife and then we've got some scissors as well to cut our string. So step one is going to be I think the reason why my dog Dylan keeps coming to see is because he really likes peanut butter and I think he wants to have a treat but we're not going to let him have one just yet. So the first thing I do is I get my knife and I put a really generous helping of peanut butter. It's going to get a bit messy so that's why I've come out into the garden. Also it's just really sunny. I'm going to spread that all over nice and neatly and then once I'm done, I might need to use my finger for some of this as well to make sure that it's really nice and spread. Then once it's nice and evenly spread out, I'm going to roll my bird seed all over in here. Roll it nice and neatly. So once I've done my rolling, then I'm going to look for the gaps and I'm going to get some more peanut butter now and just put some onto the gaps there and make sure that it's all filled because these birds are going to be really hungry and they're definitely going to want to have a lovely full feeder aren't they so we're going to make sure it's nice and full and we're going to roll it some more once i've let it dry i'm going to add my string but for now i need to put it in the sun like this and let it dry so now that my bird feeder is nice and dry i'm ready to add the string and get it hanging on the wall somewhere in my garden so I'm going to take my string and a really good way to add maths into this activity is to measure how long our string is going to be. So I think I'm going to measure it to be 50 centimetres and I'm going to use a measuring tape to help me do that. Now 50 is a really big number isn't it? It's 5 and 0. So I need to look along all the numbers on here and find the number 50. So I go all the way down and I found the number 50. It's here, the 5 and the 0. I'm going to place my measuring tape down and measure up to the number 50 with my string. And once I've done that, I can give it a, a snip with the scissors. So my string looks a bit like this now. The next step is to feed my string through the hole of the tube. And I'm going to tie it in a double knot. So I'm going to tie two knots. One, this is tricky, so we might need to ask our grown-ups to help us. One knot and two knots. That means it's nice and safe and it won't fall apart. And here you have the bird feeder. I'm going to find somewhere to put this in my garden now. And if I see any birds come and visit, I'll take some photos and show you. If you would like to make a bird feeder, I'd love to see your pictures on Tapestry. We miss you very much. Have a lovely weekend. Bye.